Exciting things are happening at UVU's College of Science and Health. The majority of pre-med graduates are accepted into top medical schools, and demand for math and science graduates as educators has created a backlog for their services in local public schools. UVU nurses currently staff about 80% of openings in Utah Valley's care facilities, and UVU's Master of Science in Nursing degree accepted its first students in 2009. These excellent students learn from some of the country's top minds, including physics professor Steve Wasserbeck, who is one of only a handful of U.S. scientists on appointment at the renowned CERN lab in Switzerland. These successes come at a time when space is a critical issue. This is the biotech research facility. This is the only space that we're allowed to use to do student research. There are about 20 students that do biotechnology research and about 10 to 15 at any given time are trying to use this space to get work done. UVU has the fewest square feet per student of any public institution in Utah, and the pinch is especially challenging for the College of Science and Health which has only 59 square feet per student. Uh, we've reached a critical point. Students who need particular classes uh, are finding that they simply can't get into them. There's not space available. I remember doing undergraduate research last year as I'm in a closet that's an overfill for physiology and I'm trying to do scientific research to get into medical school. I wish I would have graduated in exactly four years. It took me a little bit longer and that was mostly due to the fact that a lot of my classes um, were only offered at select times and they kind of overlapped just because space was unavailable. They weren't able to offer as many classes or, or sections of the courses because there wasn't enough room. With student numbers expanding by the thousands every year, uh, we simply don't have enough classrooms for them. We need to have the types of laboratories that will give these students the experience they need. UVU's current science building was constructed when there were only 8,000 students on campus, whereas today, UVU's enrollment is nearly 29,000 and growing. When I began here in 1986, I was one of three faculty members in biology. We now have 20 plus a half dozen staff people uh, just trying to find spaces to house the people that support our programs has become extremely difficult. I spent time, for example, in a, in a janitorial closet as an office for a couple of years. This overcrowding affects students and faculty in the classroom, in the lab, and as they traverse the packed hallways. Much of our equipment is now being stored under our stairwell because we have no room for it. Um, that is a problem because our TEMs and SEM uh, capabilities uh, are sort of fading in the sense that this machinery really needs to be stored under appropriate conditions to work properly. While the economic downturn may restrict appropriations for new buildings this year, it is an ideal time to bond for a new science building at UVU. In addition, UVU has proven to be a good investment, returning every state dollar more than six-fold for an annual economic impact of more than $300 million. I just want to say thank you for taking the time to consider the need of UVU's new science building. It will truly bless the lives of hundreds of thousands of students, the communities they'll serve, and the people of the great state of Utah. So sincerely, thank you. It's the right time to invest in a new building for the students and faculty of UVU's College of Science and Health.